guys welcome back today I have a tag video for you guys this tag is the top five luxury items that I would repurchase if I were to be starting my collection all over again um, I was tagged by my beautiful friend Yota from Yota style and this tag I believe was started by Le Petit and I had a lot of fun and a little bit of a hard time choosing um, my five items that that I would repurchase because I wanted to be honest and pick these items out and um, you know think about all the the mistakes that I did because I know a lot not only myself but a lot of us have made mistakes and I feel like people look at these videos and not only do we learn about each other but i feel like people look at these and and they think well let's see what what suggestions and ideas they recommendations they give and um to not make some of the mistakes but of course we're all different we all have different tastes and um but i'll tell you some of the things that i did that i would have done differently but the five items that I would repurchase if I were to be starting my collection all over again would be these. And let me start off with number one. First item that I think that I would repurchase if I were to be starting my collection all over again would definitely be a classic. And by a classic, it could be any brand, but a classic that um, I feel is gonna hold its value pretty well and is going to stand the test of time. Um, I don't buy bags to resell them, but I know that if I am going to spend the type, this type of money, you know, I would like to know that my bags um, do hold some kind of value because if I ever had to sell one, I know that I could get some money back. And to all the lucky girls that bought Chanel bags back when they were a lot less than they are now, um, good for you because I wish I would have. And I didn't. And now it's, I don't want to say it's impossible, but pretty much, like for me it is. You know, it's just a lot of money. And this, this is a lot of money and a lot of hard work. And, but like I said, as long as they hold their, some kind of value, I feel like, if I ever needed to and or if I ever wanted to because you know it's not just um, necessity but but also like you fall out of love with bags you know so um, let me go on to my first because I can continue talking and I could just go on and on but the first bag that I chose and that I would repurchase if I were to be starting my collection all over again like I said would be a classic and my first pick would be a classic like this um, Louis Vuitton from Louis Vuitton um, this is the bandolier of course the first bag that I ever bought in my collection was a classic in the monogram in the size 40 which I didn't bring up here but um, I do own and I still own it it's a size 40 and this is the size 35 now, if I were to be starting my collection all over again, I would definitely choose a um, classic piece like this one from Louis Vuitton that I know um, is a classic, is going to last forever, um, will hold its value because someone always wants a speedy, right? And um, not everybody likes, likes this um, style of bag. You know, there's the people that prefer the tote. And then you could do like maybe a never full. But if it was me, you know, I'm a satchel type girl more than anything else. So um, I would definitely choose um, a speedy. And the only thing that I think I would do a little different if I was to be restarting my collection, which I, I love, I have the classic and I have the bandolier and I love the bandolier. So I would, I would pick, if I was to change it up a little bit, I would probably either choose the size 25 or the size 30 just because I feel like I made not the mistake because I do love this bag 
Um, but when I purchased it, I bought it with the intention of using it as an everyday bag. And this is um, way too big for me for an everyday bag. So although I don't have any intentions of getting rid of it, um, you can like literally use this one and the 40 even more so as an overnight bag. So, um, you know, or there'll be days when I'm sure I'll have to carry a lot of things and this will be perfect. The size 40 will be perfect for something like that. But um, if I were to repurchase one, I, I think I would probably go for a 25 or a size 30 in the bandolier because I love the, the strap and I love you could take it off and carry it just like this. And, and it would be, you know, just like the classic. And, um, but I would probably go with a smaller size. And I think I would, I, even though I do love the monogram and I love the patina um, that it gets with time, I love the carefreeness of the Damier bean because I don't have to worry about it at all. So this would be my first pick. The next bag that, or item, luxury item that I would choose would be, again, another classic piece but one that you consider to be your holy grail bag. Um, the reason I, I suggest that is because a lot of times we buy, we want a certain bag and we're in love with a certain bag, but we don't get it because we can't find it or it's hard to find or they don't have the color or they don't make it anymore or it's too expensive or something. And so what you end up doing is you end up buying um, all these other bags like seasonal bags and you know all these other types of, of bags that look similar to it But are not it so my suggestion is um, wait You know and I know that sounds a little But to me, I think it's better to just wait and Until you find the one you want even though it's hard to get a hold of look for it and um, and get the one you want why because you are always going to want that one and then if you end up just you know getting all these other bags you're just going to end up with a whole bunch of other bags that you might not be so in love with and you're still going to always want the one and this is my holy grail bag and i was very very lucky to find one because this is the jumbo this is a vintage bag and um, it's not as much as um, the new ones are. And, but it is very hard to find. And when I came across one, and it was in the perfect condition, and it was the right price, you know, I thought, it's now or never. And I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it because I know that I've been wanting this bag forever. And, it was it was the time to get it so I'm so glad I have this in my collection um, this doesn't have to be your preference but it you know it was mine I'm so glad I have it if I was to restart my collection I would totally look for this bag all over again if I didn't have it so my second pick would be my jumbo Chanel vintage classic flap in the caviar leather my next luxury item that I would repurchase if I were to be restarting my collection would have to be in an evening bag. Um, I have gotten so much wear from this wallet on chain, which is a wallet on chain, but it is, to me, it's, you know, pretty much a little handbag because I can use this and it fits all my necessities, but there's always a time when you're going to a wedding, you're going to a concert, you're going um, to a special event, and you're dressing up in your pretty, beautiful dress or your beautiful outfit, and you need a dressy bag. So, you know, you've gotta have a dressy bag because you're not gonna take a huge bag with you to the, you know, to the event. So it's always handy to have this. I bought this um, for a wedding and for my son's graduation, and I ended up using it a lot more 
than you know the reason I bought it for so I didn't understand why people would spend the amount of money that these cost on such a tiny little thing when um, you know the other bags they're so close in in price to the bigger bags but you know they do come in handy you know you you have to have one and I have used this probably a lot more than some of my bigger bags for other things not just for the special occasion so you can you know if you're like me you can use it for special occasions and you can use it also for um, for an everyday use so I would totally repurchase this if I were to be starting my collection again and I love this uh, wallet on chain this Madalisi wallet on chain from Saint Laurent it is fabulous it fits all my necessities I think if if it's beautiful with a gold chain you know I, I bought black because I wear a lot of black but they have all kinds of colors and I think that this would be a great addition to anyone's collection because you always need a dressy bag at some point so it's great to have one there when you do the next thing that I would repurchase if I were to be starting my luxury collection all over again would be some kind of luxury shoe I know that there are a lot of beautiful shoes out there and everybody has their own style I personally love high-heeled shoes although they do not fit my lifestyle anymore because I never wear them anymore like I used to. I do love them and I do plan on owning a pair of Manolo Blahniks. I am obsessed with the Manolo Blahnik Hangizi shoes. I think those are absolutely gorgeous. And I'll put a picture right here to let you see what kind of shoes I love. And I do plan on owning some someday because those are, I think those are the most beautiful shoes in the world those are gorgeous but anyway I do love luxury shoes and I do own a few pairs but I have more uh, I have some that fit more of my lifestyle now and now that I'm getting older well I don't live in high heels like I used to so um, you know the type of work that I do now doesn't require me to wear some so these that I have here and that I'm gonna show you here are a pair of Gucci loafers with the pearls and these are absolutely gorgeous I love these these fit my my lifestyle I can wear these with jeans with um, some slacks you know I, I've gotten a lot of wear out of these shoes and I own them also in the black and this is me this is more my style and I absolutely love them these are something that I can um, wear more frequently now. So I think that I would, if I was to restart my collection, I would definitely incorporate a pair of luxury shoes, whether it be these or some other uh, or some other shoes. Like I said, I do want the Manolo Blahniks, and um, but there's a lot of beautiful shoes out there. So I would definitely invest in a pair of beautiful luxury shoes. The fifth item that I would choose and I would repurchase if I were to be starting my collection again would be a pair of Sunnies. Um, I do have a few pairs, but I, I just ended up bringing out one of my favorite pairs. And I think any big pair of Sunnies would be gorgeous. I love these black Sunnies. From Gucci these are the ones that I have I don't even know what these are called um, no they just say made in Italy but anyway a nice pair of sunnies you guys just kind of makes your look kind of elevates your your look your style and you know there's sometimes when you need to run out of the house and you don't have time to put on makeup or whatever you throw on a pair of big shades a big pair of sunnies and you look like a million dollars so I think 
this was money well spent here. Um, I absolutely love these and I always go for the big ones. I love big, 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 chunky, me and my bold style. I love big sunny. So these are my favorite and I would definitely incorporate a pair of sunglasses into my luxury collection because to me that's a must and it's part of part of your outfit part of your look i i would add some vintage jewelry as well but of course i didn't bring any of that over here and that would be going over my limit of five but um these i think beat out the my earrings and brooches and stuff i think this would be something that I would have to have to complete my look. So I had so much fun doing this video and I'm gonna tag a few people. I, I have a feeling that everybody's done this one already as well, but I am going to tag some people and I am going to um, link Yota's channel down below as well. If I didn't tag you, and you would like to do this video please do so and let me know so that i can watch it i would love to see your five items and once again thank you for stopping by my channel and we'll see you on the next one have a great one